Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Caden Novikoff. I'm an NFL free agent, and today I'm going to be talking about some simple tips that's really going to help improve your kicking. But before we get started, I just want to say uh, sorry for not uploading as much. I just moved out to San Diego here in January, and I'm out here to train more and prepare for a big combine I have coming up in March. Also, I'm going to be offering virtual training, and I'm going to leave a link in the description. It'll be the first link in the description. Um, it's just going to ask you for your email. Put your email in, that way I can email y'all and give you more information on it. Uh, I'm not going to be sending a bunch of emails or anything, just one every now and then. Um, like I said, it's going to give y'all more information if you're serious or if you really want virtual training from me. Um, it'll give you an opportunity to sign up for that. Alright, so the first tip that's really going to help y'all improve your kicking is make sure you focus on something when you go kicking. So I like to say, don't just go kick a bunch of balls without any purpose, right? So pick something in your kicking you want to work on. Maybe you want more height on your field goals, or maybe you want more height on your kickoffs, right? Focus on that and try to focus on something on your technique. So maybe it's ball contact, maybe it's staying tall. It could be, you know, your steps, whatever it is. Always focus on something because the thing is with kicking, it's like a puzzle. So we got to put all the pieces together and make sure we're good on every piece, uh, which is our technique. So some some things you may have to work on for longer too. You might have to focus on one thing for a week, a month, maybe a couple months, a year. But when you focus on one thing, one, it's you, you're working on something and you're improving something, right? Versus where if you just go out and kick, you're just going out and kicking and you're not really focusing on anything. You're just trying to make kicks, which is good sometimes, but most of the time we want to work on something. So pick something in your technique, go out and work on it. Like I said, kicking is like a, a puzzle. So we got to make sure every piece is good and fitting in the right place. So um, like I said, if your steps are off, maybe spend a week on your steps and then focus on something else when you feel like they've improved. This is something that I do a lot. I always have focuses when I go out and kick, and this is something that's really, really helped me improve my kicking a lot faster than I would if I just were to go out and kick. So like I said, yeah, make sure you pick something to focus on and go, go out with a purpose, go out to fix it, and really work on improving it. All right, guys, so my next tip is going to be at the end of every session, I think you should do a chart. So it just means to record some kicks. So field goals, maybe you chart, I don't know, eight or 10 field goals, right? And mix up the ranges, don't kick in the same spot. Or if you're doing kickoffs, do some kickoffs, or you can do a little bit of both. And on kickoffs, chart the hang time and the distance. If you can't do both, maybe just the distance, right? What this is gonna do, this is gonna be a little more like you're competing for a job, like in high school, you know, or college, you'll get certain reps with the team and they chart those, they write them down, right? To see what your, uh, how many makes you have and how many misses. And that's how they determine who's gonna get the starting job. So putting yourself through this every time you go kick, it's really gonna get you comfortable in that situation. And it kind of creates more like a game-like situation where every kick really counts and it matters. This is really gonna be beneficial because uh, you're always gonna be doing this, you're always gonna be competing. Uh, especially when you get to higher levels, college uh, or pros. I mean, this is like something you definitely got to do every time you go kick because you're going to be doing this with teams. They're always going to be uh, charting you for the most part, especially at the pros. But even in college, you can do chartings. And that's a lot of times how they determine who they pick their starting kicker to be is based off the charts. Like when I was at Houston, they based it off um, all of fall camp. So they charted us almost every day. And then whoever had the higher percentage in the charts throughout the whole time, that's who got the starting job. And it was me. So um, definitely, I would say just get comfortable with this. Do it a lot. Again, it it's kind of puts you in a game-like situation. So make sure you make each kick count. Again, don't just go kick them. Just you know, focus. Take your time. And you might even throw in like some game winners. So set a ball up and go over to the sideline and then give yourself 10 seconds to run out and kick it. But I definitely think charting every session is good. This is also going to help you record your progress. So, you know, I think it's really smart to set goals and say maybe 
and you keep going, I don't know, five, six for 10 on field goal as well. Set a goal by, you know, next month by the end, I'm gonna go eight for 10 or something. So again, this will keep track of your progress as well. It can also help you identify where you're struggling. So if you have a certain range that you keep missing those field goals, well, maybe you need to go spend a day or two hitting a lot from that range. All right, guys, my last tip is going to be kind of, I don't, I don't really have like a one word for it, but it's going to be remember the feeling of that day or that session or that kick, right? So if you go out and you're having a really good day kicking really well, try to remember that feeling with your body because it's kicking is muscle memory. So if you can realize what you were doing or maybe what you were doing differently, something felt better, I don't know, maybe you just slept better the night before and you had more uh, rest. But try and remember the feeling with your body. If you're having a really good day, remember what you're doing and what it feels like and also record that and record some really good kicks and keep them in your camera roll so that you can go back and look at those maybe when you're not having such a good day. And like right now, I'm looking at good kicks every day at least once or twice a day. And that way I get the visual of what I want to see and feel when I kick the ball. So again, try and remember what you're doing. And then on bad days, you can try and feel, okay, what am I doing that's different from a good day? Also, I keep notes in my phone of good kicking focus. So I do it for uh, field goals and then kickoffs and I have a couple points and I look at that every day and I also add to that or I take some things off depending on how it felt. And I really try and look at this, you know, like I said, twice a day and I watch the film and this is going to help you get better because if you're watching it, your mind is seeing what, what you want to do, right? And so it's going to program in your mind, like, all right, that's what I want to look like. That's what I want to do. And then if you keep reminding yourself of it by looking at it in your phone and going over it, then you're like, all right, I need this. Or maybe you, you can also keep like notes of what you need to work on on your phone. So say, well, today wasn't that good. I need to work on these things. And it just kind of helps keep track of what is, is working, what's helping you. Yeah, I really think uh, it's something you should do. You know, watch filming your good kicks. Remember the feeling on good days. Maybe try and feel what you did different on a bad day compared to a good day. And keep notes in your phone. Uh, I try and remember everything, but you know, if you're not thinking about it all the time, you might forget. And also, when you've been kicking for a while, um, I know it's happened a lot of times with me. I'll remember, some, I'll figure something out that really helped my kicking and I'll get it dialed in to where I'm doing really good with it. And then maybe months down the line, so my kicking is just off and I can't figure it out. Well, sometimes I just forget those things that I corrected. And once I remember it again and bring it back, then my kicking is great again. So this is again why I write it down versus trying to remember everything. I write it down and watch the film to try and avoid that time in between where your kicking might not be as good. So yeah, those are my those are my tips, and I think this will really help you out if you can put some of these into your uh, routine. And I really think it's gonna progress your kicking a lot faster than if you just go out and kick and not really pay attention. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video or if you got benefit out of it, drop a like. Uh, let me know in the comments if it helped you. Also, like I said, sign up for the email list down below, the first link in the description if you're interested in virtual training. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support.